Um, just first of all, you know, what did you make of the game tonight? Um, I think um, strategically, I think probably it, it's quite an obvious answer when you get bowled out for 70 odd. Um, it's, I mean, it's not pretty much there to take something out of it. Um, I think over the series, I think we haven't played our best cricket. We came here early, prepared ourselves, um, had a good camp in Queenstown. Boys were working hard, hitting the gym, doing the hard hard yards, but we didn't uh, put up in our show. Um, so it's quite disappointing as far as a uh, uh, T20 captain. But um, having said that, I think probably we need to find something out of this series so that we can build it up for the next series. So, yeah, and definitely, um, we will, we, I think probably we will want to forget this series uh, as we, we, did, we came here to achieve something because we haven't achieved anything for so many years here. Um, we've been touring last few years but haven't won a game here. So, But we were very much up for the contest, um, but uh, I think probably we didn't make it up to us. It is an unusual tour. You had two weeks in a hotel. You were <coughs> yeah. And then you did have a camp, a camp in Queenstown. Mm. Um, how much was that sort of? Did you made the most of that long preparation time, or was it tricky because you were stuck in a hotel room for so long? No, I don't think so. It's it was tricky. Um, as per the rules, you have to you have to maintain the rules, and it's for the safety for the people of New Zealand. So we have to respect that, and we have to maintain that. Um, but. Uh, quarantine is tough. It's definitely tough uh, because staying eight days in a room, then they have given us the permission to go out for two hours uh, for some practice. But uh, we we did had a good time, just hitting a few balls, doing some ground fillings and all. But uh, I think preparation-wise, we had our preparation. Um, but uh, as I've said, that uh, we didn't we didn't perform really well. Do you think there is something about New Zealand which is you know tricky for? Coming from Bangladesh, or? Uh, no. uh, the thing is that we know we knew that it will be difficult for us. Every team has a difficulty playing against the Kiwis. Um, recently, Australia had a good, uh, tough time. They have beaten the one of the best team in T20s. Um, we knew that we have to be our best um, in every department: batting, bowling, fielding, to beat the flying Kiwis. Um, but uh, we, we we couldn't put up a good show. You've lost a lot of experience in your team recently and you've got a lot of promising young critics mm. coming through. What kind of messages would you be sort of imparting on those young guys on the plane back um, at the back end of this tour? I think uh, I think probably we need to share our, share our experience because I've played a few times here. Few of the guys have played probably one or twice. Few of the guys were very new, mm. haven't played an international game here. Um, and we know the conditions here are very tough against the uh, home team. So we need to uh, share that experience and maybe from that we can learn something about it and try to put it in our game next time. Um, if I can, if I can say a lot of things, but end of the day, you have to, you have to put it in your, in your performance. Uh, that's the most important thing. But uh, uh, like very disappointing series, obviously for us. But uh, we need to we need to change things around quickly, because I think uh, we badly need some wins in our belt, um, whether it's a Test or One Days or T20 formats. We need some win to bring back that confidence in our team. I think probably we're, we're losing some confidence uh, because end of the day you play for win the game. If you don't win, it will. Uh, create some doubt about your confidence, about yourself, and that might affect the whole team. So we need to find some way to win. And there were a few chances in uh, second one days. Um, I think we were quite close. We were quite competitive in second T20. But there are a few moments we need to we need to think about those things, and we need to be careful from the next time that how we can capitalize on those occasions. I believe you do have New Zealand coming to Bangladesh. Mm. The World Cup. Yeah. I guess that'll be a chance to see, you know, how you how you improve by then, but also improve yeah. by then and, and you'll be at home. Yeah, obviously I think uh, we will be looking forward to those series, especially before the T Twenty World Cup. We have a couple of uh, big big series against uh, England, Australia, New Zealand. 
So we'll be taking properly, uh, preparing ourselves to take, take our home advantage, try to use our conditions and try to play according to the, because we feel that we're quite uh, confident in the home soil. So we'll be looking forward to those series. Did you like what you saw from your spin bowlers on this tour? Obviously they'll play a much bigger role at home, but what yeah. did you like? Or dislike of what you saw from them on this tour? I think spin-wise, spin -wise, I think we were good. The, uh, our spin head coach was Daniel. He has a lot of experience playing in these conditions where the ball doesn't grip much. Mm -hmm. And he has shared his experience and um, gave some very good advices to use the conditions here, how you can uh, use the conditions, how you can use your pace, how you uh, maintain your uh, line and length. So I think spinners, our spinners bowled quite well. They were quite uh, prote I mean, proactive, uh, what the batsman wants to do. But end of the day, in T20 games, you might get hurt for some boundaries. But I think overall their thinking was good and their uh, pace variation and line and length was better. Yeah, obviously it's pretty awesome to contribute to the team winning. Um, obviously nice to get a little bit of individual success at, at the same time. Um, obviously take a bit of confidence going forward from that, um, which I think is important, you know, reflect back on, on that and yeah, learn from it, what went well, what potentially I could have done better. Um, and yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool feeling. Yeah, like most of your summer, it's all happened pretty fast this week, but if we go back five days, um, best innings, golden duck, how did you sort of feel coming up after that one? Yeah, I mean, T20 is a fickle game, you know. I I was gutted, obviously, you know. A lot of people would come down to watch and um, I obviously had high expectations for myself. Um, but the team won at the end of the day and I was there to celebrate and, and pretty happy to get uh, for the guys to get across the line. So, yeah, there was a bit of disappointment, but I was pretty keen to get stuck in for the next game and pretty lucky that it was only a day in between. Yeah, so two days later, you come out and you didn't score a run in national cricket. You reverse hit the four to get up the mark. Um, yeah, where does the sort of thinking that goes into playing a shot like that in that situation? I think for me it was just about being fearless and continuing to be like that from um, the Super Smash. And yeah, obviously that fear of not getting out and wanting to take it to the opposition. You know, I felt like that is a shot that I've I've worked on a lot to left arm spin this this summer. Um, and I thought, you know, it's it's a shot I play a lot, so why not pull it out? You know, it doesn't matter the situation. Um, it, I could have easily thought, you know, haven't scored a run yet, just get one. And I went for it. <laughs> um, the same thing tonight, you got the market, you get the same shot. Um, and then I think we saw all your shots tonight. Um, yeah, how did it feel out there? Obviously, 10 over innings, it must take a bit of the sort of pressure off. Yeah, I mean, we, we sort of said going out there, you know, still give ourselves a chance. You know, you, it's almost tough to go from ball one uh, most days. So, yeah, gave ourselves a couple balls, I think. And again, I just felt like it was a good option. You know, the whole field was up. I knew sort of roughly what he was going to try and bowl. And I felt like it, it was a good matchup for me. And, and again, Gup said, you know, back yourself. It's, it's a shot you play a lot, so you have to play it. And yeah, lucky it came off and we just sort of went from there. Yeah. Yeah, it was again pretty cool, you know, from, from the beginning I sort of felt like I was in the zone, um, was just sort of focused on my partner and the bowler, um, didn't quite kick in, you know, I, I didn't really hear too much going on in terms of background noise and then I sort of had a moment to appreciate sort of you know, the crowd, the guys that had hung around to, to watch us through the rain. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, you know, you're now, what, I'm just first of all, yeah, what have you made of this week being in the Black Caps camp? And you've been soaking it all up. What's it been like? It's been awesome, you know. Um, I, I definitely didn't think it would be this easy to sort of integrate into a, an international side like it has. And I think it just shows how good the group the group is and what a, um, what a good place they're in at the moment um, and yeah great group of guys as well and the coaching staff you know they make it all very easy for me to fit in and feel comfortable which I think helps particularly for me and my confidence um, and allows me to sort of go out there and play the way I did similar to the way um, I guess Wellington sort of brought me in yeah. Does this last week in the black cap shirt and your performance tonight change your approach or your expectations on yourself going over to the IPL? 
No, I think um, with with all the games I play, I want to have the same brand um, and and approach it in the same aggressive way. I think it's made me sort of realise or want to learn or be able to have more options, um, sort of get in similar positions, look to be dominant, but have more than one option for, for a particular delivery, yeah. What about being back out on Eden Park? You've watched plenty of games here as a young fella dreaming of playing here. What, what was that experience like? Yeah, obviously played a wee bit out at the outer oval and trained here quite a lot. You know, I've never played a game out there, so it was pretty overwhelming at first, you know, walking out there and seeing this massive stadium all around you. It's, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, I think I said to Youngie, you know, like, it's a pretty surreal feeling. It gets you fizzed up, um, and yeah, it was it was awesome. You know, the crowd, the guys that hung around, and everyone that stayed through the rain. It was pretty cool to have them. They were pretty vocal, which was nice. So, helps bar the lads up. Awesome. Just a comment on Martin Gupta. Obviously, a guy you know him from Auckland. You mentioned that he was keeping your car when you were batting this mm-hmm. year as well with the reverse sweep. How much has he helped you? as being at your partner for all three games. Yeah, he's he's unreal to bat with, you know, I think 102 games now for him. Um, he's obviously got so much experience and he knows his game so well and it almost his calming influence on me sort of helps me to stay focused and, and watch the ball. Um, yeah, and watching him hit some of those shots, uh, he, hits the, he hits the ball pretty far, you know, it almost makes it easier for me because he dents the bowler's confidence as well. So yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome opening up with him. Tell us about your uh, five hundred dollars. You donated it to from, from ANZ. Who you donated it to, to, to and why? Yeah, to Petoni Riverside, my club down in Wellington. Um, you know they got in touch with me pretty early doors um, when I sort of decided to make the move. Know a lot of them through um, previous experiences. So yeah, and yeah, it was pretty cool. They they've always got around me and stuff as soon as I got down there. And um, yeah, so pass it off to them. <laughs> When you first did the reverse hit during Super Smash, it was Mitch Santner. Had you only just been practicing it sort of for the first time before then? Was that something I remembered or have I? Yeah, for sure. So I, um, I sort of, in preparation for the f- the game against ND, I, um, Santner, we identified that Santner was probably the most threatening bowler, and so I f- sort of went to work on how I could, you know, be aggressive against him and score off him, and found that a lot of guys had got out trying to hit him down the ground because obviously he's. He's a great bowler and he, he's really smart. So um, I sort of thought away, like, I often reverse sweep, but I wanted to be able to get it over the ring because quite often they have offside up. So I thought, you know, that's potentially a boundary option for me. And I think I spent one or two, I think it was two or three days beforehand, where I spent those net sessions just pretty much batting left-handed almost to, to the spinners. Um, and yeah, luckily it just came off and just kept going from there. And the other thing is there are a few times tonight when you had it and skied it, but it seemed to sky it so high that they couldn't get anywhere near it. You know, is that something you think is by going that hard you do minimise the risk there? Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, um, I've got pretty good bats, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if you go that hard, I suppose, if, if you get a good piece of it, it, it sort of does go up. I mean, I'm not trying to hit it that high or hit it up, obviously, yeah. but... Yeah, I guess that works in my favour a little bit. And just lastly, you know, we off to dive down. How long do you sort of leave and yeah, what's that sort of trip looking like? Um, I shoot off my flights at 6pm tomorrow tomorrow night. So, yeah, get over there. I've got a bit of a layover in Dubai and then just a seven-day quarantine period, which, yeah, it'll be pretty fizzing to get that done and, and get stuck in with the guys. Yeah, it'll be pretty awesome. Okay. Have a nice night. Thank you.